Hello friends, after successful completion of your CA final indirect tax exam. So this particular video is about the paper review back to the MCQ part. So I got many messages immediately after the exam from many students across and my telegram is fully flooded with a lot of messages that the paper is easy and thanks for your pocket book and thanks for the rocket revision patch and uh, the last minute uh, you know 50 questions marathon etc and all so thank you for updating me so that you know that motivates me to do further and uh, continue the same for next attempts also and next thing so i actually tried to compile the mcq part that was uh, given for 30 marks and uh, i just wanted to share that so that you will be able to understand as to what are the questions that are given and uh, whether it is correct or not and even for those who are appearing for May 22 or November 22 so they will also be able to understand as to how the MCQs have come for this December 21 CA final exam. So in this, uh, see this is purely based on students memory as you know that the MCQ paper will not be given outside for the purpose of circulation so therefore this is purely based on the students memory and whatever I have interacted with the students, I compiled it and some questions students have shared everything I have just put into this document, okay. So, what this time only direct tax, they said like uh, the MCQs was very very difficult but uh, indirect tax like many questions are direct only. So, good to know that so that uh, it will be like a good scoring area for you because MCQs was never a scoring area because you know a lot of difficult and critical MCQs will be given in the exam that's why students will be able to get just 10 marks or 5 marks and remaining they need to score only from the descriptive part but this time descriptive part is also pretty much easy and uh, even MCQ part is also easy but of course uh, the paper is a bit lengthy but that is there see everything will not be in your favor right the paper is easy and the paper is not uh, lengthy so too many expectations don't have okay so I am very happy that you have did this exam well and uh, over to this MCQ discussion. Again disclaimer I am giving this I have not written the paper or I don't know the paper etc. This is purely based on what students have shared with me. So they have given few questions. In case business is transferred, the GST demand raised by the GST department for the period preceding to the date of transfer. So actually when there is a transfer of business, Liability to pay GST is on both transferor and transferee. So joint and several liability. This point I would have discussed in liability to pay tax in special cases. Okay. So transferor as well as transferee both are jointly and severally liable with respect to the dues before the date of transfer. Then amount of ITC transferred in case of transfer of business. So some amount is given. So yes, ITC can be transferred whenever there is a transfer of business. From a transfer to the transferee okay then tax liabilities for supplies during the month till the date of transfer of business so this is this question is related to ascertainment of some liability so that question then penalty one question on mcq is given it seems penalty under gst for delay in filing return by 30 days See actually we need to compute it, don't compute 200 rupees per day subject to a maximum of 5000, that is wrong. Actually we should take it as 100 rupees per day subject to a maximum of 5000 under CGST Act and the same will be payable under SGST Act. So if 30 days is the delay, so which means that 30 into 100, 3000, so 3000 under CGST, 3000 under SGST, suppose in the options if there is 6000, that 6000 should have been taken, not the 5000. And we need to see whether the late fee is asked under CGST Act or just the late fee is asked. If the late fee alone is asked, then 6000 will be the answer. Okay. Consignment value for the purpose of e bill. Many times I would have stressed in my rocket revision also and every time that. So generally value is exclusive of GST. But for the purpose of computation of e bill limit, the value will be inclusive of GST. And while doing this, we need to exclude the exempted supplies because exempted supplies will not be taken into the valuation for eBay bill because we will not be required to generate eBay bill in case of exempted supplies. So what we need to do is that 
40,000 rupees is the taxable supply plus GST and don't take the exempted supply. So 47,200. They did not give any option like either will not require etc. Just the amount given. So 47,200. Then taxes not subsumed under GST. So this is the place where many students uh, have given different different uh, answers and they got confused it seems. Like uh, entertainment tax is given. Entertainment tax by local authority only not got subsumed into GST but normal entertainment tax got subsumed into GST. But in the options only entertainment tax is given not entertainment tax by local authority. If it is entertainment tax by local authority that, be, that would be the answer. But entertainment tax got subsumed into GST. And excise duty, again that also students got confused because you know, many students have asked me, sir is this the answer? So no, excise duty also got subsumed into GST. Even though excise duty is still there on, uh, state excise duty is there on alcohol filter for human consumption and central excise duty is there on petroleum products. But excise duty got subsumed into GST. So what is not got subsumed into GST in the list is the pro professional tax, okay. So that professional tax uh, by local bodies. So generally, local authorities levying the taxes not got subsumed into GST. So this professional tax is also one such case. Even entertainment tax by local authorities also one such case. Okay. Then on the grounds of su suppression of facts, showcus notice were issued by the GST department for one lakh. Taxable person made the payment within thirty days of issuance of showcus notice. What will be the amount of penalty? So the penalty will be 25% because uh, it is on account of fraud, fraud, collusion, willful misstatement, suppression of facts or contravention with the intention to evade payment of tax. Section 74, recovery under section 74. In that case, the penalty will be 100% of the tax. Okay. So say 1 lakh. 1 lakh is the penalty. And now if it is paid before show cause notice, 15% is the penalty. And if it is after show cause notice within the days, 25%. So therefore, 25% of that original penalty that will be 25,000. That is the answer for that. And uh, total 20 bits, 20 questions are there. And two case studies I heard that one question, two questions for 12 marks, six marks each. Two case studies for six marks each. So therefore, 12 marks and remaining or one mark and two mark MCQ. So total 20 MCQs were there for 30 months okay then any e commerce operator failed to deduct tcs i think because uh, you know they have not given any information actually i think i suppose that it could be tcs so why tds will come so it is tcs amounting to 9000 penalty under gst law will be so 122 subsection 1 penalty 122 subsection 1 penalty will be what so that is 100% uh, of the tax or 10,000 which is higher. Here, what is the TDS? 9,000. So 9,000 into 100%, 9,000 or 10,000 which is higher. So 10,000 will be taken as the penalty. Okay. So this is under CGST Act. Then after delay of how many days of refund and the GST interest will be provided by the department. See, GST refund interest will be 60 days. From the date of application. So once we need to make an application, 60 days from 61st day only it will be counted now. So that is one MCQ. But actually, here, so far, whatever I have seen, if these are the MCQs that is really asked in exam, so great. But of course, many students have also confirmed that these are the MCQs. So super. This time MCQ paper means it is like cakewalk. Okay. Then date of issuance of show cause notice in case of other than fraud. From the date of filing annual return, see order should be passed other than fraud with 73. See on demand and recovery itself, two MCQs were asked. So 73, so order should be passed within three years from the due date of furnishing annual return and a notice should be given at least three months before, which means two years, nine months. Two years, nine months will be taken as the answer. Then demand by GST department of tax 10 lakhs. Interest 2 lakhs, penalty 10 lakhs, person admitted tax 3 lakhs and interest 20,000. This is where little bit students got confused. Okay, I can see from the answers what they have shared with me or the discussion that has happened in my telegram group. That is, see, 100% of the admitted due plus 10% of the disputed tax. First of all, it is not to the tribunal. It is only to the appellate authority because GST department Demand is raised by the GST department. The first appeal is with the appellate authority, commissioner appeals or additional commissioner appeals. 
ten percent of the disputed tax is only payable. Okay. So here, first of all, what is the admitted due? Admitted due is three lakhs and twenty thousand. So that person has admitted three lakhs and twenty thousand. So when he admitted three lakhs, then penalty on the three lakhs also should be admitted now. So that is not given. So because generally when you see in appeals and all, there is a APL one form. APL one form you need to fill the data. So what is the demand? What is admitted? What is disputed? In that you can fill what is admitted. You can fill only the tax without filling the penalty. So therefore, in MCQ you cannot take such kind of assumptions. So therefore, three lakhs plus twenty thousand. Three lakh twenty thousand. Okay, so three lakh twenty thousand is the admitted due. Hundred percent of the admitted due. Three lakh twenty thousand plus disputed tax. Tax alone you take disputed. Ten lakhs minus three lakh. Six lakhs is disputed. Six lakhs into ten percent. That will be, you know, uh, how much? Six lakhs into ten percent. Sixty thousand. Okay, six lakhs into ten percent. Sixty thousand. So that should be taken. Okay, but. I don't know what is the answer. See, first of all, there is no clarity about what is the question that has been given. Okay, so this should be taken. Okay, three lakh twenty thousand plus disputed tax. So disputed tax is seven lakhs, na? So then seventy thousand. Disputed tax is seven lakhs. Then seventy thousand. So that is three lakh ninety thousand should have been the answer. Okay. So if that option is there, that would have been the answer because. Hundred percent of the admitted due. That's how the provision says. And ten percent of the disputed tax. What is the admitted due? Admitted due is three lakh plus twenty thousand. That's why. And next one is IEC. So on foreign trade policy, it seems some three questions were asked. So import export code is is issued by DGFT, Directorate General of Foreign Trade, not CBIC. Then minimum value addition in case of advance authorization other than T, other than T will be fifteen percent. In case of T, in case of T, it will be fifty percent. In case of other than T, it is fifteen percent. Super. That question. Then validity of EPCG is not twenty-four months. It is eighteen months. Many students got confused and they wrote twenty-four months. It is actually eighteen months. Validity of EPCG license. So eighteen months from the date when it is issued. During that time, if we make any import of capital goods, that is eligible for that scheme. Okay. Then good three MCQs on FTP is commendable. Then what would be the nature of supply and rate of tax in case of advance received not determinable? Okay, see advances were received, but you don't know what is the nature of supply. You should deem it as interstate supply, and the rate of GST should be eighteen percent. Many times I said, I said tell this in the class. So good that uh, this question has been asked, but generally. You know, in invoice chapter, tax invoice and time of supply. In the invoice chapter, it will come as one two-line information. Okay. So, but I would have stressed that in the class. So good that this came. Then document which is not mandatory for import shipping bill. So one of the options it seems is shipping bill. So shipping bill will not be taken as a document for import. That is only for export. Now, then what is the distance of exclusive economic zone from the baseline? Two hundred nautical miles. Okay, all these are direct, pretty much direct questions. And eighteen, uh, what is the amount of output tax payable when recipient takes registration in the state where the service of reorganization takes place? So there is one question, one case study question. So that person is, uh, you know, going to the other uh, state. So it seems some question is there like that. So that student said it is pretty easy only, sir. What is the eligible ITC? To the entity supplying the training and appraisal service out of hotel accommodation, food and beverage, and hired consultants for imparting the training. Hotel accommodation actually it is in a different state. Hotel accommodation in a different state. CGST, SGST paid cannot be taken as credit. Actually, that is one point. Then it is not food and beverage. It is outdoor catering. That's what uh, some students have corrected. Outdoor catering, but food and beverage or outdoor catering here. Actually, I don't have that equation. But one student has told me, sir, it is not actually food and beverages, outdoor catering services which are received for the purpose of providing outdoor catering to the participants. So along with the fee, participation fee, we will collect the money for even providing food and beverages. So then, in that case, it is not a blocked credit. If that be the case, I don't have the question. But actually, if it is as such outdoor catering block credit, but it comes under the exception. 
so they are conducting some part, uh, training so for conducting the training they will be providing food and beverages to the participants so they will be receiving outdoor catering so inward supply part of composite or mixer outward supply so then ITC will be available so if that be the case then ITC is available hired consultants for imparting the training ITC is available so that is the question what would be the output tax payable by the person supplier was registered in different states okay so this is one comprehensive question it is asked so that also many students said that it is pretty easy only sir so this is about the mcq review and uh, the question paper review so we will see it in the next video and uh, overall i'm really happy that my students have performed well and across many students who have messaged me they said that they have performed well so as a teacher so what else i need okay i'm happy so because if the paper is difficult and if they are depressed then only i have to feel sad so when they are happy i'm happy okay so and uh, one suggestion to you to all of you who have just completed the exam so till the time result come don't think about uh, the result and waste your time so result will come that is not in your hands writing exam is only in your hands so result will come okay but this next 40 days or 45 days till the time result come so harvest this time properly for upgrading your skills so you want to join any certification course like on international taxation or ifrs or if you want to you know do some sap training so or uh, some other practical trainings whatever it is so upgrade your skills and uh, make this time like even suppose if you feel like you are not good at communication skills try to improvise your english speaking vocabulary and communication skills or if you feel like you want to get some uh, you know knowledge on certain things like updated technologies blockchain or uh, crypto so there are many artificial intelligence in accounting cloud accounting erps so there are many areas where really you can uh, you know spend time so please uh, make use of this time this is a very 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 valuable time or you upgrade yourself for the interviews so like uh, how the interviews are going to be so prepare a very good resume and uh, identify what are your skills and put it in that and how the interviews happen what type of questions will be asked anything anything so whichever you feel you wanted to do do that this 40 45 days so make use of it not necessary that you have to you know full time sit on that so some three four hours in a day remaining time do some physical activity so go for uh, you know some sports or do some physical activities that is required and yes so if uh, covid then uh, omicron or some other prawn and all will not will come in future so if you keep on afraiding and if you sit at home there is no point so go out at least go to the playground and start playing some game cricket or some games so this time is actually yours enjoy this time okay and for those who are appearing for may 22 so don't expect that every time the mcq paper will be like this so we don't know what is in surprise for the ici okay thank you all and in the next video we will see about the descriptive participation